What is up, Chiefs Kingdom? Welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Josh Fan of ShowMeFootball.com and ArrowheadAddict.com, covering your Kansas City Chiefs. And I wanted to make a quick video following up on the addition of former Chiefs running back Kareem Hunt returning to Kansas City on a practice squad deal. Now, yesterday I talked about the possibility of Kareem Hunt returning to the Kansas City Chiefs whenever it was first reported that he would visit with Kansas City in the morning. And now that he's actually signed, I have a few additional thoughts and a few more things that I'd like to say. And we're just going to kind of analyze the Kareem Hunt signing from what it is. So, of course, he goes to the practice squad. Now, most of us expect him to be called up to the active roster at some point. I'm sure the Chiefs want to see him in practice for a little bit, get him up to game speed before they elevate him to the active roster. But there's zero doubt in my mind that Kareem Hunt is going to be on this active roster sooner than later. I mean, you need him because with Isaiah Pacheco being out, your running back room is Carson Steele and Samaj P. Ryan. You just need more than that. I mean, Carson Steele is a rookie once again. I think a lot of us like his upside, and he really flashed in preseason, but still a rookie, and there's a lot for him to learn, as well as Samaj P. Ryan, who also hasn't really been in this offense for very long. I mean, you want to talk about Kareem not knowing the playbook of the offense yet, neither does Samaj P. Ryan, really. He hasn't been here that long. He was only picked up after cutdown days. Um, just short of the Chiefs opening game against the Baltimore Ravens. So Kareem Hunt has just as good of a chance as anybody else in this running back room to contribute. And that's the big conversation going on right now. Now that Kareem Hunt is officially a part of this team and a part of this organization, a lot of people were still skeptical that it was going to happen. And they're still skeptical of what his role exactly is going to be. So firstly, He's back in Kansas City. Like, that that was the first big hurdle, right? He's back in Kansas City. Andy Reid, Brett Veach, and Clark Hunt all supposedly signed off on this, which is surprising to a lot of people because of how everything went down the first time. Hunt lied to the organization about what happened. And that video came out from TMZ of him kicking a woman in a Cleveland hotel. And they said that, at least Clark Hunt said, that he would never play for the Kansas City Chiefs ever again but that the team would help him find a new landing spot. But then Brett Veach kind of walked back to those comments from Clark Hunt saying that, you know, you never want to completely shut the door on anything. And there is the possibility down the line that Kareem Hunt could return to the Kansas City Chiefs. And fast forward some years later, here we are. He's back in Kansas City after it seems like he's taking care of himself off the field. And yes, he did have that one incident in Cleveland where he got pulled over by a police officer because uh, he was in a bad place and he was depressed that he wasn't still a part of the Chiefs organization but really since then he's cleaned up his act he's been fine since returning home to the Cleveland Browns and he had some productive years there but he never quite returned to the same form that he had when he was with the Kansas City Chiefs a guy that we all thought could be a franchise great running back and he We'll never be that at this point because we have to temper expectations. We're not getting 2018 Kareem Hunt back. And a lot of people are debating how much of an impact he'll really have. Yeah, his yards per carry weren't great that last year in Cleveland. But he joined Cleveland off the street after the Nick Chubb injury. And he didn't have a preseason. He didn't have a training camp. I think this is a much better offensive line. This is also him coming back to Andy Reid, coming back to Patrick Mahomes, who he has chemistry with. So I expect to see his yards per carry go up also considering this offensive line and how good that is. Uh, I expect the yards per carry to go up. I expect the production to go up. The efficiency, all of that's going to get better with Kareem Hunt coming back to the Kansas City Chiefs, in my opinion. Has he lost some juice? Absolutely. He's lost some juice. He's not super fast anymore, but he never was super fast. But I still think that ability to break tackles is there. Like That hasn't gone away. That doesn't necessarily go away as fast as your athleticism is going to go away. Yeah, his speed's not there, but I mean, he still has those big legs. He's strong. I think there's going to be a lot of power running with the Chiefs running game now with Kareem Hunt being back in the fold. I mean, just with how strong of a runner he is, I I still think the strength is there. And then I mentioned it in my other video that I did talking about the potential of Kareem Hunt returning, but he had nine touchdowns last year. I think this is someone that's going to help out the red zone offense. He's going to be a safety outlet in the passing game. He was a great receiving back that first time around with Kansas City. And I think he's going to provide a lot in the receiving game. Still, he's going to be a great pass blocker. And that's about all you can ask 
out of any free agent running back that is available at this point. I also said this in my last video, and I'll say it again for those that missed it, but something that you're going to get out of Kareem Hunt that you couldn't really get out of any other running back that was available at this point is you're going to have a guy that is so damn determined to make things right in Kansas City. His heart and soul is with this organization. It was the entire time he was in Cleveland. I'm sure he had a good time in Cleveland. Cleveland is home for him. But in the back of his head, there was always that thought, man, I could have been with the Kansas City Chiefs right now going for a three-peat. And, you know, he has the opportunity to make things right. And I think that's going to make him extra motivated. We're going to see an angry, determined Kareem Hunt that he's out for redemption. And the last thing I'm going to say about the Kareem Hunt signing is it just feels right having him back in Kansas City. If Kareem Hunt were to never sign back with the Kansas City Chiefs, we always would have had that conversation of what if. What if with Kareem Hunt? What if that whole thing never happened and he never got cut and he was able to stay with the Kansas City Chiefs? And we'll still kind of have that conversation just because he never returned to being that player that he once was and we missed out on some good years with him as the starting running back. However, if Kareem Hunt is able to come back this year, be productive, help this team win a Super Bowl, a lot of us will feel some good closure with the Kareem Hunt saga, and that won't be something that we ask what if for the rest of our lives if he's able to come back and make things right and help this team win a Super Bowl. It'll just make us all feel better about how things ended with Kareem Hunt, and that's what I'm most looking forward to. Uh, it's great for all parties involved if that happens. So those are my final thoughts on the Kansas City Chiefs bringing back running back Kareem Hunt. I want to hear from you guys, though. What do you think of the Kansas City Chiefs bringing back Kareem Hunt? Do you agree with me, disagree with me? What do you think his numbers are going to look like? We'd love to hear some stat line predictions from you guys in the comments down below. But with all that being said, make sure you like, share, and subscribe so more Chiefs fans can find this. And make sure you check out my work on showmefootball.com and arrowheadaddict.com for more. I'll see you all in the next one. Go Chiefs!